Hello, View of Uranus here. Today, I would like to talk about the big why. Now, that sounds a little bit on the um, es existential side or esoteric, whatever argo you want to use. But what I am referring to is is one of the shortcomings of a lot of character creation I'm seeing these days. And uh, I took my work to a, another creator he, uh, for a fee, uh, looked it over for me, and uh, during the course of looking over my stuff, he saw my prospectus, which is basically my world Bible, and uh, he was very impressed with my knowledge of my characters, and he said he wished that more people would do this before they write chapter one, panel one, uh, and I was thinking about that. What is it about knowing your characters that helps you to write them better? Um, it all comes down to the big why. I think a lot of people who create comics, especially since it's such a dynamic visual medium, they like the idea of their characters doing these incredible things. I mean, the martial artist kicking people across the room, or uh, the muscle guys busting through walls, or, you know, the energy projector blasting someone to smithereens, you know. Or if you rob Liefeld, uh, something with a lot of patches and samurai sword doing a backflip while cutting in a slashing manner that would be physically impossible to even scar something. But anyway, I digress. That's a axe for another day. But when I'm talking about the big why, okay, you know what you want your character to do, but you don't know the why of your character. Let me give you an example. Now, a lot of people, the most famous backstory in comics is probably Batman. Because we know the inciting incident. We know the incident that like created the individual that's capable of putting on uh, leotards or armor, depending on your error, in uh, flying out into the night. To terrorize criminals. I've seen some takes where he's basically getting revenge on all the criminals because Joe Chill killed his parents. I've also seen other takes where he uh, basically is a, made into a psychopath, essentially, and this is the way he stays on the side of the angels is by attacking criminals rather than becoming the Joker or whatever. Um, so, kind of narrows the focus, makes him more of an anti-hero. Uh, I've even seen takes where Bruce Wayne is a mask and that Batman w was basically the when the kid looked up from his parents' corpses... That was the Batman in its infancy. I've heard that take also. Uh, but I, as a orphan who lost his parents young, I've always had a different take on it. And I believe that Bat Bruce became Batman. Not for it as an act of revenge, not as an act of expression of his own violence, or not e not even as a mask. 
I think Bruce became Batman. So this would never happen to someone else. If he could prevent it. That's my belief, and or at least that's my take on his why. Everyone has a why, okay? Everyone has their demons. Everyone has their, they call it parent wound that drives them. I've heard it said once that uh, child or your adulthood is is spending your entire life getting over your childhood. <laughs> It's pretty bleak, but I can see the merit in that argument. But I'm talking about the big why of the character. Okay, uh, you've got a character who's a loner. Who uh, basically defends innocence and strangers, you know. But he has no companions and he doesn't uh, warm up to people. So his big why might be that he's trying to preserve relationships that he can't personally have. And so rather than be envious, he's trying to protect the things that he could, he could, he's not capable of. Uh, and, you know, or you have another character who uh, basically seems like a Boy Scout, uh, who seems to have no rough edges. And yet, he's one of the more violent heroes. I mean, he punches people through a wall and all he could do is lift them off the ground and hold them up against the wall, you know. So, why does this goody two-shoes have that streak of violence? Well, maybe secretly because he's actually a sociopath. And he's being good because that allows him to hurt people. <laughs> I mean, the why matters and the more you know about the why the more vibrant your character becomes the more fleshed out your character becomes uh, and I was writing one of my characters recently and in he was, like, challenged by a villain that he wasn't man enough. And my character reacted with such venom, you know, and he just... It, it was like the straw that broke the camel's back. He came after that sucker. And, uh, and I knew his backstory because I wrote his backstory. But in that moment, I was writing him... I realized his big why is that he's trying to prove something to his father, even without knowing it. And and that's the thing. If you you can know your why, but your character doesn't necessarily know their why. And if you know it, but they don't. Then you can just write little nuances in. You can write little little character traits or, or attributes that that point to this big why, but they can be completely oblivious of it. In fact, your reader, pretty much, you're giving them the clues to figure it out themselves, and it makes the reader care. They care about this character. This is the reason why those idiots make Captain America Hydra was such a one of the worst character assassinations of all time. The people who did that had no clue. They didn't know the history of the man. They had no idea of his motivations. They, they didn't care about his why. Because they would had this magical cube and they changed it in a way that made no sense for the character. 
And they did it just so they could. So we subverted expectations. He just kicked Union Jack out of a plane. One of supposedly his friends. And said, Hell Hydra. Wow. People are going to remember this forever. And they do. But it's not famous. It's infamous. For me, it was the breaking strain. Because there is no universe where someone that has the why that Captain America has would ever be able to fake it that long. Because if you remember, they retconned him as being Hydra from the beginning, from from back when he was with his mother. And everything he did in the meantime was some kind of of play acting. But see, that completely, totally can't happen. Because Captain America's why is that he loves his country far more than himself. He loves the idea of his country. Far more than he loves himself. Such a man could never, ever fake it. So, when you see people take over characters, or create new characters, and you see this, you saw this a lot in the mid 90s with Image Comics. And yeah, they looked good, and yeah, their powers were spectacular knockoffs of Marvel and DC. And they did a, a lot of incredible art. But you never got to know these characters. You never really understood the why. Yeah, okay, Rip Claw is supposedly Native American and he can grow claws and 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 he's aggressive, you know. But the whole Native American thing it was just like a trope. And tropes are okay. I'm not anti trope. But I just think if you know the why of your character. If you start from why are they the way they are? What is their wound? What is their drive? What makes them them? If you start from there, then you're going to know where to go. You won't have meandering characters setting, drinking tea, or eating food, and having a chin wag for three or four pages in a row, talking about their feelings. Marvel, mo- modern Marvel, I'm looking at you. And just making these arbitrary, like, backstories that oh she's got like ADHD or oh she's a lesbian from a parallel dimension or or she just got powers one day and she's now the most powerful being and yet uh, she doesn't seem to have a personality but hey love her she's the face of Marvel No. Even Superman has a why. He's an orphan from another world that destroyed itself. And he was sent to protect ours. And he grew up in Kansas with these Midwest values. And he's protecting this world because he feels a sense of responsibility that he's the only one that can. I can tell you Superman's why. Which is why this character who should be boring is still being written today. 
if you know the why, then you'll know the who, and you'll know the when, you'll know the where, and you'll know the what. You've got to stop, start with the why. I hope this helps. This has been The View of Uranus. Have a nice day.